Hello friends, welcome back to a new session. We are continuing lesson number eight, mapping your way. We have learned how to calculate the distance between two places, two states from the map and about different ma uh, route maps all we have learned. Now today we are going to learn the next part of the lesson is C. C. Bala is standing on the sea coast and looking at the vast sea. And see the look, sea looks endless. If you see here, see from the seashore, we see that the sea is endless. Now you might have seen the sea many times. We might um, go to beaches and we might have enjoyed the sea. Now in this picture, where is the sea? The sea is in front of the or opposite to the boy or in front of the boy. Now you can see sea in the map of India. What color is used to show for the sea? You know, the, which color is used for showing sea? Blue color is used for showing sea. Now, one or two more questions are there. Mark those states which have sea on the other side. Let us see the map, sea. See, which states have sea on one side? If you start from bottom, bottom is south side. Which side, which state you are coming? Here, Tamil Nadu has sea. Which are the sea here? This is Arabian Sea and this is Indian Ocean. Okay. So, these all, these all state which are coming on this western side and western, southern and eastern side have sea on one side. So, if you start from here, Tamil Nadu is having sea on one side, Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Gujarat. And on the other side, if you see Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal, etc. have C on one side. Okay. So we have written the answer here. Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Gujarat, West Bengal, etc. have C on one side. Now, second question is, name one state which does not have C on any one side. If you see the map, the states which are coming in the middle part, they don't, or the northern part, they don't have any C on any one side. If you see the map, see, you see here Madhya Pradesh. Here there is no city surrounded by different states on land boundary only. Okay. Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, these all Haryana and these northern states. So any one state we can write that they don't have C on any side. So Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, I have written two, we can write some more also. Okay. Now, see, lines between states. If you see the map, you see here the map, we can see there are dotted lines between each state, which separate the state. Like that, we can see it here. Now, so, the children are talking about these lines. These lines are the boundaries of each state, which separate the state from the other state. So, children are talking about it. See. Sabu is confused about the lines shown between the state. He is saying, I traveled from Delhi to Haryana, but I never saw any lines on the ground. How do we see, the, uh, see them on the map? So he is saying that I traveled from Delhi to Haryana, but I have not seen any lines on the ground while traveling. So other girl is saying, see, there are no lines painted on the ground. The map shows us where one state ends and the next to the other. So other girl is saying, you cannot see any painted lines on the ground. The map shows where one state is separating the other state. Oh, so he is saying, oh, yes, we paid the toll tax at the border. And I saw a big board saying, welcome to Haryana. So he is saying that we paid a toll tax at the border. So there it is written on the board, welcome to Haryana. That means from there, Haryana state begins. Okay. Now, some more questions are there. Here is a map given, map number six. Looking at the map, we have to find out the answer of these questions. Let us see the question. Question number one. How many centimeters away is Idlipur from Barfinagar on the map? Where is Barfinagar here? Where is Idlipur here? So we have to see how many centimeters from the uh, away is Idlipur from Barfinagar. So we can use a scale to measure the length of this line segment from Idlipur to Barfinagar. If you measure with the scale, you will get it as 5 centimeters. So I am writing the answer here, 5 centimeters. That is 
distance from Italy for to Barfinagar on the map it is 5 cm. Now next question, how many kilometers will you have to travel if you go from Idli to Barfinagar? That is, the distance on the map is we got 5 cm. Now next question is, how many kilometers will be the distance from Idli to Barfinagar? And here scale is given at the bottom, scale 1 cm on the paper equal to 10 km. We know the distance is 5 cm. So 1 cm equal to 10 km, so 5 cm will be how much? 50 km. So the distance from Idli to Barfinagar is 50 km. Okay. Third question, there is a place called Kamanpur and midway between Idlipur and Barfinagar. Mark it with K. That is between Idlipur and Barfinagar. Midway means in the middle. There is a place called Kamanpur. We have to mark it with K. So this total distance on the paper from Idlipur to Barfinagar is 5 cm. So where will be the middle point? Middle point will be at 2.5 cm. So at 2.5 cm here. See, somewhat in the middle. 2.5 cm we can mark K representing common for I have already marked it. Okay. Now represent it by letter K. Now fourth question. A town called Jalebi Jalebi Bor is 35 kilometers away from both Cholagat and Doklabad. See where is Cholagat? Cholagat is here and Doklabad is here. So there is one place in between these two places which is 35 kilometer away. 35 kilometers away from Cholagat and 35 kilometers away from Doklava. That is, it is the midway, midpoint between Cholagat and Doklava. Huh? So, where do you think it can be? Mark it J for it. So, how can you mark it? See, if this is a straight line. See, the distance from Doklava to Belpur, if you measure with the scale, it is 2.5. Okay, here Jalebi Pur is 35 centimeter, 35 kilometer away from Cholagat and Oklahoma. So 35 kilometer means it is 3.5 centimeter. That is, if you mark uh, somewhere here, Jalebi Pur, see, Jalebi Pur is 35 kilometer from Cholagat and 35 kilometer from Doklava. So it is midway. That you understood? That means the total distance from Cholagat to Doklava is 35 plus 35 equal to 70 centimeter. That means the distance of this line or the route on the paper will be 7 centimeter. No doubt. So 35 kilometer means it is half of it, that is 3.5 centimeter. And the distance from Doklaba to Belpur, if you measure, it is 2.5 centimeter. If you, you measure it with scale, you can get it 2.5 centimeter. So one more centimeter from here downward, if you mark, it will be 2.5 plus 1, it will be 3.5 centimeter. So somewhere here, you will mark uh, Jalebi Pur for the J we will mark. Understood? Distance from Belpur to Doklabad is 2.5 centimeter. So one more centimeter if you measure downwards, so it will be 2.5 plus 1, 3.5 centimeter. 3.5 centimeter will represent 35 kilometer. So here we can mark J for Jalebi Pur. Fifth question, measure the length of the route between Belpur and Cholagat. Where is Belpur here and where is Cholagat here? Here it is also written, you can use a thread. How will you measure by thread? Keep the thread at one end here and keep the thread in the shape of this curved line. And after measuring, measure the length of the thread with the scale. Okay. And if you measure it, you will get it as 4.5 centimeter. That is using thread, keep the thread in the shape of this curve. And then after measuring, take the thread and measure its length with the scale. You will get 4.5 centimeter. Or other way, we know that the total distance from Cholagat to Doklaba is 35 plus 35 equal to 70 kilometer. 70 kilometer means 7 centimeter. And Doklaba to Belpur is 2.5. So the remaining distance will be Belpur to Cholagat. That is 7 minus 2.5 will be 4.5. So 4.5 centimeter will be representing 45 kilometer. I have written here. Distance from Doklabad to Belpur is 2.5 centimeter. The total distance from Doklabad to Cholagat is 7 centimeter. So distance from Belpur to Chola, Cholagat equal to 7 minus 2.5 is 4.5 centimeter. 
on this uh, paper scale is 1 centimeter equal to 10 kilometer. So, length of route from Belpur to Cholagat equal to 4.5 centimeter equal to 4.5 multiplied by 10. That is equal to 45 kilometer. So, we will conclude today's session here. The remaining we will continue in the next video. Thank you.